department request TNA increase department wage. Chief Davis. Yep. <clears throat> this is the darkest times that we're living in for law enforcement. According to the FBI, law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty increased 89 percent last year. No other time in memory have any police officers been ambushed, murdered for doing their job. They sat in the restaurant eating, filling their car with fuel, or answering calls. Most times, uh, bogus calls. Last week in Texas, a police officer backed up one of his fellow officers. He was standing there by the door of his car, and a thug walked up and shot him six times in the back for no reason whatsoever. Ferguson, everybody's heard of Ferguson, year before last. They had a, a, a young fellow uh, got killed by a police officer. And the president, the attorney general, and the governor called for the police officer's arrest immediately before an investigation ever was started. Eric Holder, the attorney general, he came down and brought the Justice Department. And they turned over every rock they could find to try to convict this police officer. They found DNA of the suspect on the police officer's gun inside of his police car. All this was fueled by the media. What the media didn't tell you was that the Justice Department cleared this officer. Nobody, nobody apologized to this officer. They ruined his career after doing all this stuff. Let's fast forward to Chicago. Six officers, they took the guy into custody. In their custody, while the guy was in their custody, the guy died. The district attorney caved to the media pressure and charged six police officers with murder. Violent crimes in Chicago rose by 400% after this happened. 400%. They asked the Justice Department came down and wanted to know what in the world was happening. And they said, well, if we get out of our cars, if we're proactive, and we get out of our cars and we have to put our hands on somebody, we may be charged. We may go to prison. So they become a reactive department, not a proactive. We talked about this at the uh, uh, retreat. The Justice Department, here about three years ago, Jonathan and I went up to make it and we went to this class. Uh, they sued 48 out of 50 states telling them that we need to shut down their mental hospitals, that we need to take these mental patients and put back in our, our uh, cities. Very little training. There's very little training for police officers and the EMS out there for mental patients. Very little training. But if you goof one time, then you're going to be prosecuted for it and sued for it. Two weeks ago, I went over to Thomasville, our local GBI agent. Uh, they requested, they done more training for all the department heads in this area. And uh, the topic was, what would the GBI be doing in the use of force investigation? I were on the district attorney was there. J. David Miller was there. He was a guest speaker. He told us point blank, because of media pressure, if we're involved in an officer involved shooting or a use of force, He's going to present this to a criminal uh, grand jury. This is what police officers are facing right now. I think one of the Supreme Court justices said this uh, many years ago, a decision a police officer has to make in seconds gets judged in courts for years. You remember that? Now our problem. Recruitment and retention. We've lost three certified officers in the last six months. Three certified. That's almost 40% of my staff. In six months, we advertised in, in the Boston Daily Times. I got six applications. I used to get a stack of applications like this. I got six. Out of the six, four of them were non certified and two were certified. The first one, when I started doing a background check on this guy, his own references would need to be a good reference. His uh, chief from the agency he came from, stay away from this guy. They put him in every division that he worked at, and the commander of that division said, Get rid of him. And he came, he came to us. Second is a young lady. She's been at four different agencies. Three of the four agencies she's worked at, she's been terminated or resigned to termination. This is what I got to pick from at 12 bucks an hour. In your packets, you see, I advertise up at the police academy. You see the uh, pictures up there. We pay 12 bucks an hour. Hey, nobody around here. I lost one. One of the best officers I just lost, the last one I lost, I lost to Bremerton, 1485 an hour. Three years experience, hired him fresh out of the academy, good guy. I mean, he, he done everything I asked him to do. He loved working midnight shift, which was a good thing. So. 
But uh, 1485 an hour in rivers, we start off with $12 an hour. My recommendation is to, uh, is to increase our first salary to $15 an hour. I cannot recruit and retain officers at $12 an hour. Right now, Lieutenant Kingston, she's over in Africa. Uh, she's in Bob Rain. Right now, she's in the Navy Reserve. And she's been there, she'll be there about 10 and a half months. In your packet, you will see the breakdown, this breakdown right here. If we increase our starting salary from $12 to $15 an hour, you know, a question's always been, next month, June 13th, I've been doing this 35 years right here in the AR. How are we going to pay for it? The request I'm asking for $19,440, the remainder of Shannon's salary for the year, this is starting with June 1st of this year, is $34,631. We do these increases with $15,000 in play. Mine up here at the bottom, I wasn't going to put nothing in for me. In the years past, I gave up a couple of my raises for my guys and girls. My staff says, you need to put something in. I put 3% in for me. Deduct that. I don't want it. But this is what we need right here. <clears throat> Since 2000, I became the chief here in 2000, September 2000. You go to the post website, they will tell you you have drop down boxes of everybody that's ever worked for the city of Hayhart or Hayhart Police Department in the modern times. In the last 15 years, I've hired 35 officers. 35 officers. Five of them I terminated. So that leaves 30. Eight are still currently here. 22 officers have left for more money. 22 officers in 15 years have left for more money. Multiply that times the the very conservative $12,716 just to hire a new officer. That's about a quarter of a million dollars right there that we let just walk out of here. Every time that we lose an officer, this is real conservative. I talked to some chiefs before and they said, man, you ought to triple that. I said, that's way less than what it should have been right there. But right now, my whole thing is, who do you hire? We hire a non-certified officer. The police academy right now is in their sixth week. It's 11 weeks long. We've got five more weeks before this one ends. The next one's full. There's a three-week uh, break in between them. So you got to wait that 14 more weeks before you get, or 17 weeks before you get that person in. Then that's an, an additional 11 weeks. You're almost a year if you hire a non-certified officer right now before they pin on the badge and do one day's worth of work for you. 12 bucks an hour, it ain't going to cut. My wife and I, we were out at the Hunter House the other day. One of my new officers is here. The uh, waitress sort of took a liking to him and asked him a little bit about him and this, that, and other. I want to know who loved him. And I told him. And uh, they said, well, why? I said, hey, Harris, awesome. You know, why don't you And I said, we pay 12 bucks an hour. She said, crap. I made more than that out here. As a waitress at Hunter House, I made more than $12 an hour. That's where we're at. Thank you. The, the thing with uh, Lieutenant Kingston's unused salary, well, well, I saw that at the bottom. That's money that you have in your budget that or we have or you have. Yeah, that's, that's the money that's in the budget for the police department this year. Yeah. But you need our blessing on raising these salaries before you can spend that money? Or? Right. Okay. Any salary increase I have to do before the mayor does. And the money's there plus the $15 increase for the police department. So you're saying nineteen thousand four hundred forty dollars to finish out this year you're going to use Shannon's unused salary? Yes, sir. And so the next year it'll be forty thousand dollars on Shannon a big year? Yes, sir. So what we're gonna do We're gonna find it. Or huh? We're gonna find it. You gotta you, you gotta, gotta find it. it. Okay. It would have been better, I think, if you had to sit down to the uh, sit manager tonight. And went over this and talked about pay raises. Where did you get fifteen dollars an hour for cities our size? Riverton is smaller than us. They're fourteen. They have a different category. Uh, we in a section B for the state of Georgia, and Riverton is not in our category. We compete. We lost, regardless of what category we're in, we lost one of our officers to Riverton. Right. I understand. Cook County, we lost it. What did Trey make before he left? 
Any more questions? 